Okay, so you guys asked me for a diagram. Hey, look, my mohawk, by the way. I got a mohawk. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do a diagram here. So that's the side of the tank, right? Side of the tank. And then, you know, it could square off or whatever. You could have a round bottom. Doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, so you've got a gravity pipe that comes in, goes through the tank, and you got to put a 90 on it to go to the center of your burn bowl. Okay? Could be any. Your burn bowl could be anything you want. Could be uh, anything. Uh, that you think might last okay now this right here where it comes down doesn't even have to be inside the bowl really it could be like almost like right here you know but I like getting down in the bowl a little bit but the main thing about this whole deal is your door your door whatever your door opening is your burn bowl has to be above the door okay because if you don't you're gonna get smoke coming out so that's really the main thing now this right here could be exhaust pipe you know I, i've used you know you get exhaust pipe scrap exhaust pipe and um it's already got a 90 on it you can get up you could buy 90 from uh the supply house and weld it to a piece of pipe or you can miter you know what i did on this last one is i went straight and then i just mitered uh, a 90 and it came down Okay, so no big deal. And you want to use two inch to get enough airflow through here. Because this airflow is, you know, the more airflow you have, the hotter your, the more oil you can add, really, honestly. Uh, but you're going to go through more oil. So you kind of, you know, do a balance or whatever. And so, uh, yeah, up here you have your tank, your oil tank. And. You just figure out a way to come off that and drip into this pipe right here. And so this is your old drip. Okay. And then on this right here, you hook up your, your, your fan right to there. Now you can do, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can, I mean, I've got, uh, I showed you on that last video what fan I used, but it was hooked to the outside air. Um, I've got several that I've used and just, you know, stuff that I picked up here and there and, and just made it work. I, I don't even think I've even bought a fan yet. So, uh, you know, this is just stuff you got around the house, really. This burn bowl is just, I use Freon, um, Freon tanks to make burn bowls out of. Okay. For burn bowls. So you can just use whatever's around the house. It's not really a big deal. Now I will tell you this this one guy, he so up here is your tank, right? Comes up here. I put my exhaust up here. Six inch. Um and then I put a uh like a seven by six reducer and then go up with six inch. That way you got kind of like an air gap there that, and it doesn't leak, it doesn't leak right there. Now this one guy, he recommended coming out the side here and then maybe, you know, and then maybe putting a 90 on it and then going up. And the reason why he suggested that, I have never done that, but he said this, this would burn hotter and burn more oil off before it went out the exhaust. Now, I think the problem you may have with that is that you're going to build up too much pressure off this fan, this uh, turbo air, and it may want to bleed back. It may want to bleed back, you know, out of your door. But it's probably worth a try. I mean, all you'd have to do is just, you know, block that off and then just cut a hole up there. Now, I'm actually going to, I'm going to make the next project coming up and I've got the tank already I've got a long tank that was an air compressor tank okay and it's already on legs so I'm gonna raise this up I don't know probably 12 inches to the bottom 12 inches and then I'm gonna cut a hole so 
So if you're looking at the bottom here, I'm going to actually cut a hole in here. Okay? And uh, so then I can just do, you know, whatever I want. I can do straight down with my, my pipe and then drip my oil in it, you know, however I want. Um, and then coming over here, then I'm going to put my exhaust. Now, this hole right here, my burn bowl, let's see how I can do that. Uh, if you go here, it's going to be a hole right there, okay? My burn bowl is just going to sit on the ground, and then my pipe's going to come in. And depending upon what you got, I usually got concrete, right? So I may put like a brake, uh, a disc, disc brake uh, drum or something, you know, just to get the heat off this, this cement, which, you know, I don't care if the cement gets hot, it'll just... It'll be better for me to hold it. And so I've got to get enough room right here just to be able to slide this burn bowl in. And so I don't have to worry about a door, right? Because my burn bowl is going to be definitely above my bottom, the bottom of, um, of this tank. So my theory is, so my burn bowl will be, you know, actually, it'll probably be like right like this. Okay. Something like that. And my pipe will be down in it. And so, obviously, the exhaust, you know, the fire is going to go all over here, over here, and then it's going to go up. So this whole tank should get red or hot. So that's my next deal. I'm going to try to do that and see what happens. So, I'll, guys, I'll give you a heads up on that. I think that one's going to be really cool. The problem with this is it takes up so much space. You know, where this one, this other one, you know, doesn't take as much space up. So, but hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you want to keep watching, I'm going to switch over and show you my upgrades on my uh, hydraulic lift for putting stuff up in the attic because I, I redid it. So, hold on. I'll get a shot at my mohawk. Cool. Yeah, I'm getting ready for spiritual war. Okay, here we go. So, here is my lift. I actually my garage lift which is a car lift really which I had just an extra side here you guys know that so I made it here so I can lift it lawnmowers up or whatever one side of the vehicle all this stuff comes off pretty easy um, and it actually would swing away what I've done is I've I brought my platform out up there I've got my platform bolted down to where my edge comes up and meets and I also went to uh, a three foot oh and that's about 38 38 by, I don't know, it's not quite eight foot platform, which, uh, I, you know, I feel a lot safer up there. That other one was a little, little iffy. And so then I added a, uh, another bar. So I had to lengthen it. So I made another, uh, brace back there that it's got two inch pipe that goes down in those, those tube steels to keep it solid. And then I made another swivel point up here with one angle and I'll show you. I show a really cool effect. Let me take you upstairs and kind of show you what's going up here first, and then I'll come back down and show you. So I, yeah, I lifted a bunch of equipment up here, um, just a little bit. Oh yeah, so yeah, I got this crane up here too. Now I got a chain fall that I hooked to. I made a place for my beam and I hooked my chain fall. So if I got something heavy that I got to lift up to the top of this, then I use my chain fall. So it's really, uh, you know, a step out here and you don't feel like you're getting seasick. So, and you got plenty of, plenty of space to move around, which is a lot better than the other deal. So now let me show you kind of a, I was trying to figure out a way to be able to push this thing out of the way because I didn't want to have to run a real massive beam you know and use use this right I didn't want to have to use that so I uh, I want to come up with a way to uh, load stuff up so let me let me lower this and I'll show you what I came up with so there's my chain fall up there which I just take off if I don't need it which I've I've got everything done and I've got a lot more room in my garage now because I 
put like four or five things up there that I never hardly use but once a year so if I need it I'll just go get it so that worked out pretty good so so here's here's what I found see if you guys can see this so I slide this actually slide this out of the way let me go get my stand I'm gonna switch it back here. 